Remember the old one? Oh, that's not comfortable. Always need to check out the plants. <gasps> wow. These don't have a permanent home yet. I got planters. Hi everyone, in today's video, we are going to Home Goods and maybe a few other stores because I still have to decorate the first floor of our home. Obviously with the pandemic, I have not been able to go out and look for stuff to decorate, which is like one of my favorite things to do. Hopefully it's not too busy. It's still early. It's like 11 a.m. right now. And I am filming on my brand new Sony ZV-1, which Hubs got for me. I still need to learn how to use it properly. Okay, so I will check back in once we are in Home Goods. The pot options are kind of limited. <laughs> this is what I could find. I really need some pots because I haven't transferred any of my plants to some hydroponics. I don't love it. It's like woven, but not. The color is kind of off. I don't think I'm getting it. Because it's also huge. Because I wanted something round for the lounge. The one ways are confusing me. <laughs> so I'm only allowed to go this way and then come back around. Oh my god. See? Oh you're getting in trouble now. Huh? <laughs> what? You're getting in trouble. Nice house. You just had a plant on it. So I was looking at this earlier, it's so soft. Would this look weird on the couch? What do you think? Yeah. Oh, it's so cute. The color is nice too, and it's, feel it, feel it. No, feel it. Wow. Milo would eat it, for sure. I want an air fryer. Cool. What is this? Do you put a cupcake or something on that? Yeah. That would be so cute. I would never get that because I want to eat it. I need plant pots, but I don't see any. Here. That's for utensils. Oh, look how cute. Oh, that's for a cat. Let's see how fast this auto focuses. Wow. Is it fast? It's fast. <laughs> Wow. You're so tall now. <laughs> what do you think? This looks dirty though, right? Like, I know that's on purpose, but it looks like it's dirty. It doesn't matter what. Or this one? You like the white one better? I need a step stool for the kitchen. It's really slippery though. Yeah, I guess. Okay. Not safe. I thought it was a hundred dollars for a second. Hmm. Oh, what's that? You go step on Wait, we just get the wipes. What do you think? Actually, I actually kind of like it. Wait, how much is this? Thirty dollars. It's hmm. heavy. Almost like a planter, but not because of the shape. Product showcase. <laughs> this poof is really cute. How much is it? Fifty bucks. I remember the old one. Oh, that's not comfortable. Okay. I feel like you would assume by looking at that it would be comfortable, but then it's like, look. I don't mind it. Feels like I just have like a bunch of cheap stuff in it. The appearance I like. There's a desk up front that I really want, but it was sold. Oh. <laughs> I only need a desk because of this one here. Do we need a. Night in shining armor? Sharma and armor? Night in shining armor? Wow. That's me. Does that have really sharp? Where did I put the cart? Okay, so I didn't get anything at Home Goods, but now I'm at Home Depot and you know, always need to check out the plants. Let me see. They got the little fiddles over here. Somebody took a bite out of that one. Got the snake plants. Got little baby Monstera deliciosas. Some money trees. It's nothing special yet. 
more fiddles. So then a bunch of potos and joys over here for $16.98. They're pretty full. Okay, they're not happy, but they're full. Ooh. Okay, look at that leaf. That one's pretty big. Ooh. I have a little baby one, but this one's like really full. It's not bad. Holy crap. Look at this Monstera Deliciosa. It's so big. There's so many of them. Wow. Hang on, hang on. We've got some mature ones over here. <gasps> wow. Look. We got some more Pothos and Joys. Really freaking full. Sansevieria Mohawks. Okay. Bunch of Monster Deliciosas. I can't believe it used to be so hard to find them around here, but now they're everywhere. It's like the saddest Pilea Peperomia for $16.98. And then they have one Philodendron Brazil. $16.98. Okay, so now I'm back looking at the mature Monstera Deliciosas and some of them are so beautiful. I mean, look at that leaf. Hand comparison. Wow. How much are these? Wait, no. -uh. You kidding me? Wait, how much are you? It's only $44. Holy crap. Mine's bigger, but I spent like 70 Okay, so, so far I'm loving the quality of this camera. I really hope that the audio turned out well because I'm wearing a mask and everything. So, and I'm trying not to be extremely loud in a store because that's just pretty awkward because I'm filming anyways. Yeah, that was a little bit of a fail. I didn't find anything. There was pretty much no furniture. Usually at this home because they have like the best furniture. It's actually where I got my media console that I love. In Home Depot, I didn't find any plants that I wanted. <laughs> I'm not gonna buy another Monstera Deliciosa. Afterwards, I think we're gonna hit up a different home goods or Marshalls or TJ Maxx. You know, one of those. It's like all the same thing. Wow, does my skin really look that good or? <laughs> my new skin care routine, so I don't know if it's the camera or if it's my actual skin. <laughs> Let me see up close and personal. Look at my pores. <laughs> okay, so we are back home. I'm gonna try something out, hang on. This has a feature where I can just blur out the background real quick. Let me see. Defocus, okay. It's C focused, right? And then clear. You see a difference? C focus and clear. Okay. That could be really helpful for my sit down videos. I'm currently just waiting for my husband and I am eating some avocado toast. I have a total of seven days left of my current job. So I'm really excited about that. And then I'm gonna move on to my new job. I'm currently studying. The thing about this camera is I try to look at the lens, but this one has the lens go to the side instead of right above it. So if I'm looking to the side, that's why. You can see there. Downstairs needs a whole lot of work. We got the street rug right here. And then to put most of the shoes in, because I don't wear shoes in the house. I'm Asian, we don't do that. I didn't like the look of the shoes just being everywhere. So I got this nice rattan basket for that. This is obviously not going to be an official. I'm just going to show like the process of getting downstairs together. Because the first thing when you come into our house, I need it to look really nice and put together. Because the upstairs part is, and this clearly isn't. And I'll go through that in a sec. We don't actually have a closet downstairs, which I thought was weird because like they could have clearly made a closet out of this, but I got this little armoire thing. It was really inexpensive from Ikea and I made it look more expensive because it had really ugly handles that I hated. So I ended up switching it out for these gold ones. I just ordered this on Amazon. So it changed the look of everything. So we got some like some shoes and stuff in there. I absolutely love this rug I got. So this is from Rugs USA. 
I think it would tie in like a boho theme really well because it has muted orange, almost salmon color, and then it has like some browns in it too. So I normally don't try to go for blues in my house really, but I think if I have terracotta down here, it ties in well. So I also think I want a, a cognac leather couch that will be tied in with this. And then I got this actually a while back before we even moved into this house. These don't have a permanent home yet, but they will. And this is a rattan table that I got from the as is section of Ikea for on sale. And it's supposed to be for outdoor, but I think I'm gonna use it for the coffee table in this area because I don't need the huge one. I already have a huge coffee table upstairs. So there is that, this ties in with that. And then also that, this is, my plant hanger, there's no plant in there yet, but it's from Target. You look cute. Love you. So then over in this corner, we have the plant bench. Well, in my first apartment, I used to have a bunch of plants on here. Now I'm gonna keep it pretty clear. I like to come home and then if I have a bunch of stuff in my hands, which I usually do, I set it on here before I put things away. And then in this little basket down here, Milo's stuff, his harness and everything, his little rain jackets. As you can see, there's a lot to get done. I still have to, you know, figure out where the heck I'm putting this stuff. I want a nice trailing plant to put in that corner. And so what I was thinking, this is my vision. I wanted a cognac leather couch to kind of come here, be facing this wall. Probably have the Montserrat in that corner. I think that's pretty good. This obviously to move in front here where a normal table should be. And then a media console. My husband wants like a huge flat screen TV to be on the wall. We need to move all that junk. So decor wise, I feel like I was able to get the upstairs part, the main living area. I was able to get that together pretty quickly because nothing was closed yet before the pandemic really broke out. When the pandemic happened, I wasn't able to go out and find stuff to decorate. And since I don't want to be ordering a bunch of stuff online, I, I need to like be able to go see the item in person and visualize it in my space that's why i haven't done anything for the downstairs so we've been here since march it's now end of june almost july and yeah that's how much of my downstairs luckily we've had no guests so they're not seeing all of that crap when they first walk in so. yeah so earlier i didn't find anything at home goods but we just got back from tj maxx and i found a couple things When I buy more plants, I usually don't have the planters for them unless I happen to rehome that plant because I don't buy a whole bunch of planters just because they're cute. I get them if I need them. So I got this. I like the shape of this one, but I like how it's white and then it has the, the etching on it. It's like a terracotta. This one will be good for some semi hydroponics. Wait, is it the fast? It's not the fast one, is it? Oh, it is fast. What we were doing earlier was seeing how fast it can autofocus, and it's really quick, as you can see. Before, when I would do a plant unboxing, I would try to hold something up and wait, but look. That's so cool. It's like really close. So this was $5.99. I love going to these places. I always find the unique things and it's pretty cheap because plant pots can get really expensive, especially if you get really big ones. Like this next one, bam. <laughs> I got this on sale for $15, which is great considering how big this is. It looks like an eight inch pot. I like how they go together, but they're not completely matching because I don't want all of my pots to look the same. But yeah, that's what I got. So I think that'll be it for this video. That's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.